Developments right now in the bridge battle that's been going on for years between Miami Lakes and Hialeah. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live with the latest on the fight over the bridge to nowhere. Hatzel. Louis, you talked to the mayor of Miami Lakes. He'll tell you if you open up the bridge, it's going to be traffic gridlock, but he is willing to let a certain kind of traffic on the bridge. Construction continues on what's been dubbed the Bridge to Nowhere. We're at the base on Northwest 170th Street and 89th Avenue. Right here, we're in Miami-Dade County. We're back into Miami Lakes. Today, Miami Lakes Mayor Manny Sid tells Local 10 his town is willing to compromise on what's turned into a legal fight with Miami-Dade County and Hialeah. Once it's ready, uh, we will be installing some SOS gates that will give uh, direct access to, to that area for first responders. The gates are designed to open when they hear sirens from first responders. The Miami Lakes Mayor says this kind of compromise is good for all sides. I think it's important because litigation, nobody wins. The bridge, built 35 years ago, has never opened. It separates Miami Lakes and Hialeah and goes over I-75. Miami Lakes says the street cannot withstand the traffic that would be unleashed by the opening of this bridge. Let's do it in conjunction with the opening of certain other projects, opening up 67th on the Gratney, opening up 87th on the Gratney, which is more relief valves. Things got heated last October. Miami Lakes filed legal action against the city of Hialeah and Lennard Corporation for conducting unauthorized work on the town-owned section of Northwest 170th Street. They want to just literally shove it down our throat, and we don't think they're allowed to do that under the written agreements that we have. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says we will make a decision to open the bridge if the traffic study shows that it will be of benefit to all residents. It's no coincidence this is happening close to the site where the gigantic American Dream Mall and entertainment complex will be built. Critics have been outspoken about the traffic and infrastructure issues associated with it. So we understand the county commission is handling that traffic study. As soon as they release it, we'll let you know. Reporting live in Miami Lakes, I'm Hatsofella, Local 10 News.